We are tracking breaking news. Good evening. I'm Craig Anders. Thanks for joining us. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation says two bodies have been found in Texas County, Oklahoma. A medical examiner will identify them and determine how they died. Investigators did not say if they are believed to be Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler, the two missing mothers from Hugoton. However, in the latest announcement, the OSBI did attach the media release about the four arrested in Jillian and Veronica's disappearance. Those four face several charges, including suspicion of first-degree murder. Also, the OSBI says, along with the FBI, they and other agencies are holding a joint press conference. That'll be tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll have the latest from that at KSN.com. Try to make them okay. I don't think there's any way in this situation, but that's what you want to do. People in Hugoton and surrounding communities are focused on supporting the families of Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler 15 days after the search for them began. That search has spanned from Hugoton down to Texas and Cimarron counties in Oklahoma. KSN's Julia Thatcher has followed this story from the beginning, brings us an update on the, invest the investigation and the devastation that continues to dominate the region. Someone told me earlier this week it's like a dark cloud is lingering over Hugoton, and in some ways time is standing still. This is Veronica Butler's store, and if you see in the window, you can see a sign that she posted that her store would be closed over Easter weekend. Of course, she never made it back to take that down. A small community hit with an enormous amount of pain. They're a mom, they're a sister, they're a niece, they're an aunt, they're a wife, um, they have kids, they have kids friends, you know, it's it's so much more than just two women. Miranda only talked to Jillian and Veronica in passing, like others sending support from across the country. She says you don't have to know the women personally to be struck by the sadness of the situation. The community still cares and it's absolutely devastating, you know. Um, they were both young and vibrant, and they deserved more. Four are arrested, and now the community is starting to search for healing that may never come, and gripped with grief that will never go away. They mattered. They absolutely mattered, and they still do. The community is looking for ways to continue to support Jillian and Veronica's families. A softball tournament is in the works, and I'm told nine teams have already signed up. Miranda tells me they're sure that they will look for ways that people from other nearby communities across the state and across the country can continue to show their support as well. Of course, we'll keep you updated if and when that happens. Here for you in Hugoton, Julia Thatcher, KSN News 3. Julia, thank you. Going in depth on the four people arrested, Tad McCollum, Tiffany Adams, Cole Twombly, and Cora Twombly are all booked on suspicion of two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. KSN typically does not name suspects until they are charged. However, because of the public interest in this case and the concern from the community, we've decided to release the names of those suspects. News Nation, which is owned by our parent company, Next Star reporter Tiffany Adams, is the grandmother to Veronica's children. They say Jillian and Veronica were driving to Oklahoma to meet up with Adams for a supervised custodial meet when they went missing. You can see all of our coverage and the search for Jillian and Veronica online. Just go to KSN.com.